Ooh. Ooh, that was nice. I like that. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid, and today I want to play a very cool looking game called A Date with Death. An ordinary person with an ordinary job in an ordinary apartment. That is, putting aside some of the strange occurrences that happened around you. Who hasn't been involved in a train crash, a house fire, a hurricane, and a parachute-related skydiving issue all in the span of a few months, after all. Gee, friend, I think you ought to s stay home for a while. You've always been this way. You found yourself in many unlucky situations, but come out unscathed every time. Oh. Friends and family have always called you lucky, but at that point, you don't even bat an eyelash at these occurrences. A piano falls from a six-story building above you, you simply step to the side. <laughs> you're, you're working on cartoon rules. You trip on your shoelace and fall down a flight of stairs, not even a scratch. Hmm. It's on one of these unusually ordinary days when you arrive home and look into your mirror. What do you see? Oh yeah! This has character... 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 character creation. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, that's a cozy room. That's a cozy room. Oh, pet that cat. Can you pet the cat? Oh, oh. Well, I will name her after my baby Daisy. Daisy. Can I name my bed? <laughs> my comfortable bed. It's seen you through many nights of sleep. Many a night's sleep. You're not that tired, though. You can't help but recall the day you bought this bed. It was your first piece of furniture you bought for yourself. Yeah, you kind of have to get the bed first. Move into a new house, just sleep on the floor. Not only was it too big to fit up the narrow stairwell, you got it wedged halfway up. Ooh. You thought you were going to have to sleep there from now on. <laughs> but eventually, it came free, and then you stepped on a loose floorboard and nearly plummeted down a few flights of stairs. Whoops. Where's all that death-defying luck I had? It's certainly an experience you'll never forget, at least. Ooh. A ding comes from your laptop. You take a look at what you expected to be an email. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a strange app you've never seen before. Oh, that's, that usually doesn't end up well. You look at it a moment before hitting the X in the corner of the program. Uh, I guess I'll just ignore it now. Or I'll deal with it later. Eh, I'll probably deal with it later, even though those sound very similar. Ooh, I rather like the music. Yeah, the music's fine. I like it. Bookshelf. Pick a new book to read. Ooh. The Wanderer. That sounds familiar. But instead of reading books like I probably should, let's get on that laptop. Your trusty laptop. It was your first purchase for yourself after you moved out. Remembering how you saved to be able to afford the one you wanted brings a smile to your face. Let, let's let's get on it. Let's let's play some visual novels or Minecraft. The door leads out to the hallway and beyond. Your apartment is on the fifth floor of a downtown apartment building. There's nowhere you want to go at the moment, but you overhear some talking on the other side in the hall beyond. Hmm. You don't know your neighbors very well yet. Perhaps now is a good time to learn more about them. Yeah, just let's eavesdrop a little bit. You put your ear to the door, straining through the wood to hear the words being spoken beyond. You hear the sound of someone knocking, then a door opening. Sorry to disturb you. I just moved in down the hall, and I had a package meant for you delivered to my apartment. 
A deep, rich voice floats through the hall. Hey, I would like to meet my new neighbor. Oh my gosh, I thought the package got lost. I really can't thank you enough. The other voice responds, light and somewhat airy. Well, it gave me a chance to introduce myself to you, so I'd call it good luck on my part. Here, all yours. Thanks again, um... The voice trails off. Hey, speak louder, I was listening to that. Oh, my apologies. My name is... The voice is muffled for a moment as the elevator dinged, and you miss the next few words. Your humble servant. Uh. The second voice laughs. I feel like I owe you something for having to bring that heavy box all the way over here. I would hardly call one flight of stairs all the way over, but I wouldn't turn down a coffee. The deeper voice replies. Oh, how about tomorrow? It's a date. I mean, not really, but see you tomorrow. Ah, people are hooking up and I am not invited. Uh, well, that's okay. See you. You hear the door close and the sound of footsteps walking away from the door, and then silence. You hear this stuff, Daisy? Before you hear the sound of pottery falling, then shattering onto the ground. Aw. The door opens again. The deep voice speaks first. I, uh, didn't see your plant there. Coffee's on me? You hear the second voice giggle, then speak. It's alright. I've been meaning to get a new pot for ages. Let me at least help cleaning it up. It's really no trouble. I insist. I was the clumsy one. Alright, let me get the broom. The voice becomes muffled, then silent. That seems to be all the information you'll get for the day. Ah. A second ding echoes through the room. Hmm. Worried, you look back to your laptop screen. The app is once again open and flashing on your hotbar. Listen, you. You wonder for a moment if you'd somehow picked up some malware. Uh, let's ignore it for now. Mysterious apps in, in visual novels usually lead to something fun. What time is it? What's going on with my little plant here? <gasps> what are the plant? <gasps> you gave your sprout a hearty drink. Can I grow the plant? Can I pet the cat? You swear you almost hear it saying thank you. The dings are coming much more frequently now. Someone, or something, wants your attention. You're not worried now. You're angry. <clears throat> How dare you? The dinging is starting to annoy you. For a moment, you contemplate throwing your laptop out of the window. Don't do that. But calm before you possibly commit a crime by dropping a laptop from the fifth story of a building and knocking someone out. Eh, ignore it for now. Daisy! Fun fact, Daisy despises when I touch her toe beans. I will check on my baby. Daisy is fast asleep in the sun. Yep, she's fast asleep on her heating mat right now. You gently stroke down Daisy's back, not wanting to disturb her. She's so fluffy and soft. The dinging is constant. You don't know how much longer you can put up with the sound. Perhaps it's time to check what's going on here. That's it, you think. You're going to commit a very bad act to this laptop of yours. No, don't do that. You've halfway opened your window when you come to your senses and close the app once more. You quickly delete it from your laptop and empty your trash can. But two moments later, it appears exactly where it was before and opens again. You think about the sketchy sights you've been on, but even that is hard to concentrate on past the constant dinging. You attempt to delete it again, but it won't delete anymore. Oh, that's not good. Try again. Nothing happens. Try again, but angrier. <clears throat> Nothing continues to happen. Great. Guess I've got a virus. No! Stare the app down. Click on the app. Well, I mean, do not click on suspicious apps. Do not do that. That is the thing that you should not do, but I'm gonna click on that app. I'm gonna... I'm gonna show this app what for. You click on the app, finally taking a good look at it. It's some kind of chat room. It looks somewhat retro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Foolish mortal. 
You shall evade me no more. I have had enough of you fiddling around in your room and ignoring me. I have come to reap your soul. That is far more important. Hand it over willingly, for I am not here to play games. Answer me at once. Hello? I see you wish to ignore my demands. Foolish. Incredibly foolish. <laughs> Please respond. Does it not work after all? Well, this is quite embarrassing. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Hello. Testing. Am I supposed to press something? <laughs> Fluff me. Uh, hello to you too. <laughs> this, this thing down here, we are fluffing under attack. <laughs> that was one heck of an introduction. About time you made your way here. You have kept me waiting long enough. Eh, uh, should have blown up my notifications, dude. That makes me want to ignore you. Single assassins in your area. <laughs> Then you should have replied faster. Too bad, you were too eager. Soul number 8129. That makes no sense. Why are mortals so confusing? You play these games I do not understand. There's unspoken rules to texting people. I, myself, do not know most of these rules. Or in this case, messaging them through suspicious apps. How would you even get this on my computer? Well... Can you please speak them? Don't spam, and don't get mad if you don't get an instant response. Mostly. I mean, yeah. Cute little ghosty icon. Ooh. Oh, I could put my status up there. You hold on a second, Grim Reaper. Vibin'. <laughs> sure. Anyway. Seriously, is this a virus or something? A virus? No. Do not be absurd. This is an application that I've created. Why, oh, you're very handy. Oh, what? For? Messaging you. Oh, why? Por qué? I don't even know who you are. Suspicious app opens up, calling yourself the Grim Reaper? It's a little strange to message random girl out of nowhere. Yeah. Random? There is no element of randomness at play here. Okay, getting creepier. Do I know you from somewhere, then? I told you, I have come to reap your soul. Well, you can't have it. It's mine. Yeah, you, you said that once or twice. <laughs> you, you said that. <laughs> is, this, is this a call for help? Are you okay? <laughs> are, you, are you good, fam? Turn off that toggle automatic messaging. That might help a little bit. Do not belittle me. I am coming for what is owed to me. That is all. It would do you well to not get in my way. Are you... Are you trying to threaten me or something? Is this... Is this threat? Because... <laughs> you won't like where that's going. Do you feel threatened by me? If so, then I am doing my job correctly. This bodes well. Hey, you. And this job it... And this job is... Thank you for finally asking. Beg me to tell you. Listen, listen here. Uh, no. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't feel like doing that. I don't care that much, sir. <laughs> really? Oh. Fine. Please tell me. I am the Grim Reaper, and I have come to claim your soul. You said that three times now. I'm keeping count. <laughs> right. 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 Cool. Very normal. <laughs> Very normal. Totally reasonable thing to say to someone. <laughs> you make it sound unreasonable. Why? Um... Maybe because it is? I don't give my soul to just anyone, you know. Fortunately, I am not just anyone. I am the Grim Reaper. I, I see that. Pulling the soul from your body and leaving you an empty husk is literally in my job description. I had that in my job description once, too. 
I should put that in a job description. That'd be hilarious. But really? You were a Grim Reaper? No, I just worked retail. <laughs> that seems like it would have the opposite effect. Oh. I hadn't realized mortals also dealt in souls. But that is beside the point. Your soul. Will you hand it over? No, I need my soul. How else am I going to make great music? Is this a role play? Because I'll, I'll role play with you. I'm not very good at it, but... A role play? What is a role play? Like you're pretending to be the Grim Reaper. And you want me to be... Your enemy's to lever, sweetheart? A pizza delivery woman? Or your mortal enemy? Mo ha 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 ha. Your... Enemies to lovers, sweetheart. <laughs> what? No, I am the Grim Reaper. This is no game of make-believe. <laughs> this is a matter of utmost seriousness. It's a little hard to take you seriously, my good friend. Why? Maybe because you're literally a stranger on the internet. Yeah. Everyone is a stranger before you meet them. But most people don't claim to be a mythical creature. Oh, he's probably not going to like me calling him mythical. Because they are not. I am. I don't usually respond to spam messages like this. Now I'm thinking I should. Anyway, do you seriously think you're the Grim Reaper? Excuse me? It's not cringe. It's cute. It's kind of cute. It's a little cute. It's a little cute. C cute you're totally delusional, but it's kind of sweet. Why won't you take me seriously? Well, it could be. <laughs> well, it could be that you keep saying things like, I've come to eat your soul. I am so edgy and dark. I am darkness incarnate. Yeah, that's funny. That's a good one. I am darkness incarnate. I, I never said that. You did. I did not. You have no proof. Delete chat law. No! Neither do you, little Mr. Grim Reaper. <laughs> How cruel. You... You mock my title now. It's less mocking, more light teasing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Quick question. Do you walk around being like, I am death in real life, too? What? Bow down to me. Your soul is mine. <laughs> you do, don't you? <laughs> Stunned silence? Are, 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 you, are you mad? Are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? Is your hair as dark as night? Do you hide behind long bangs? <laughs> Whoops, he burnt down your house. These, these ads over here are hilarious. I think I can imagine you completely. You're probably all, Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I actually really like that song. <laughs> if only we could meet to confirm my suspicions. You. You. I will not be mocked by a mortal. Give me your soul, your soul is mine for the harvesting. <laughs> it will be a three-course meal. You, you, do not tell your wife about this game. <laughs> did I hurt the scammer's feelings? When did I scam you? Why do you keep calling me a scammer? You're giving me a complex over here. Have I hurt your little dead heart? What makes you assume I am dead? The Grim Reaper is like... A, s a skeleton, right? That's what Terry Pratchett says! Another foolish assumption. Know this. I shall make it as painful as I can for you. Your disrespect has been noted. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so very scared. I'm shaking in my little Halloween dress. Hey, since reaping souls is your job and all, I have a question. Do you... 
Make a killing? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, you're gonna hate me a whole lot more if you keep this up, fam. Stupid mortal. You would quiver under my gaze before I granted you death. I'm quivering just thinking about it. <laughs> Using the word quiver was certainly a choice. <laughs> I would like to see you try to insult me to my face. Bet. Deal. Fine. Video call me then. Unless the little wee boy is too scared. <laughs> Granted, you probably wouldn't want to mock someone calling themselves the Grim Reaper a whole lot. I am never scared. Yes. Wait. Oh, I had no cho. Oh. Oh my. I take back everything I said. I just got psychic damage from s from how hot he is. Testing, testing. Is this thing working? What is this? Anything to say for yourself? I am anything but scared of facing a mortal such as yourself. <laughs> well, you're certainly cuter than I expected. <laughs> Excuse me? Cute is not a word I would use to describe myself. Have you looked in the mirror, sir? Kittens are cute. Puppies are cute. I am not cute. Okay, okay. You are handsome. You are good looking. I am looking at you disrespectfully. <laughs> no? What word would you use then? Devilishly handsome. Immaculate. Gorgeous. Alright. Alright. Simply use your eyes and you'll see for yourself. I suppose... Someone seems to be very sure of himself. Obviously. I really was picturing jet black hair, though. <laughs> Is it usually black? Do you bleach it or something? Why would I waste my time doing that? So that's all... natural? Of course. Don't apply human logic to that which you don't understand. Or can you not help yourself? Perhaps your eyes cannot leave me. Shut up! Well, you are cute. <laughs> I am not cute. I think you're plenty cute. You are incorrect. Well, you aren't exactly Reaper-like, are you? <laughs> Let me rephrase. You don't look like a Grim Reaper at all. He looks a little like a Grim Reaper. Excuse me? You... are just a normal dude. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you that you're the Grim Reaper? The thing is, I don't believe you. <laughs> Why are you acting so surprised? Of course I'm not gonna believe you. You're just a man! Very... Very attractive man with impeccable fashion style, but you're just a man! I'm simply surprised that you could be so naive. I am the Grim Reaper, in charge of ferrying souls to their rightful afterlife. The thing about the Grim Reaper that I've only realized from other games is the Grim Reaper doesn't really kill you. I mean, you die on your own. hes That's not his department. He, he's just kind of holding your hand to cross the river Styx and all that. You're still saying it? Really? I really can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'm not really interested in being whisked off into the afterlife or whatever you're offering. Nor am I interested in entertaining your strange fantasy. I'm interested in entertaining his, his strange fantasy. Oh, look at that pout. Oh, You are truly insufferable. I can be a whole lot more insufferable, my good friend. You don't know me too well. I am here for the sole purpose of harvesting your soul. Your opinion on the matter hardly matters to me. Think what you want about me and my role. It changes nothing. 
Just a quick question. Aren't people meant to be, you know, dead? Don't tell me I actually died when the bed fell on me or something. For the Reaper to come after them? Yeah. What, what you say about that? Or are you going to point to a can of canned fish and say, that's how you died? The Salmon Moose. Darling, you didn't use canned salmon, did you? Like in Monty Python. Desperate times call for desperate measures. All of these are sarcastic. Thanks for the explanation. Don't look at me like that. Oh. You are actually making me feel a little guilty. Good. Ah. I miss that. <laughs> I'm just here to do the dirty work, unfortunately. Don't shoot the messenger and all that. Oh. These are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> bedroom eyes? Is that what you call that? Stop wiggling your eyebrows. You're just embarrassing yourself. I don't see how those are supposed to be bedroom eyes. Come on. Are you serious? You can't see my longing gaze. <laughs> Did you just scoff at me? <gasps> oh. You longingly gaze into your death? A woman after my own heart, it seems. Here, I was trying to flirt. Is that what that was supposed to be? Yes. <laughs> I don't plan to die anytime soon. Sorry. <sighs> what did I do wrong in my past life to get stuck with you? I heard that. You were supposed to. I didn't whisper it, did I? Oh, you're being cheeky. Mm. Whatever. More like I'm stuck with you, anyway. Keep sending me notifications on my laptop. You and your weird Apple typing. <laughs> you're, you're one of those things. A homestuck. <laughs> Is that a reference to a game I haven't played? Why do you type like that, anyway? What is weird about my typing? Wait, it's not on purpose? Explain yourself. The capital letters. Oh yeah, yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> yes, I know what capital letters are. I'm not brainless like yourself. I was using them, was I not? Yeah, that's the thing. You use them too often. Way too often. What are you talking about, mortal? You were using them on every single word. You're really not supposed to do that. Unless you're making, like, a YouTube title. Aw, oh, he blushing. Aww. Oh. I do not type correctly. Oh. <laughs> Allow me to go perish. Thank you. You're still doing it. That's exactly what I'm telling you. How embarrassing. I do not type correctly. What? What'd you hang up for? Hello? Come on, I was finally having fun. Oh, Why'd you leave the call, fam? There is no particular reason. None whatsoever. Um, I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything, but... Nah, nah, I'll, I'll ease up on him. That's, that's wrong, too. Using all lower cases, but I mean... That, that could show that he's kind of depressed, <laughs> that he's sad. Aw, oh, aw. Oh. Well, if you have nothing to say, I guess I'll go to bed. Uh, yes or yes. Hmm, that's, that's a... Don't know what to do in that situation. I think I'm gonna pick yes. Hey. You're blushing so hard right now. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot. Shut up. <laughs> the way I type is unimportant to the matter at hand. Just hand over the soul so we can be done with this. Now you listen here. I thought we were moving past the whole soul thing. 
No, mortal. There is no moving on until the deed is done. Too bad. It's my soul. Lol. And like I said, I don't believe you. You can't just hand your soul through the internet. Oh, we'd, we'd all be in trouble if you could do that. I mean, it's been fun messing with you, but... The Grim Reaper isn't real. <laughs> it's a myth. Oh, I'm making him mad. Do I look like a myth to you? No, you look like a very pretty stranger. <laughs> but the Grim Reaper isn't real. I am telling you, I am quite literally. Yeah, okay, okay. I get it. I feel like we're going in circles at this rate, so... How about a bet? Consider my interest peaked. Is, is this like his stats? A bet? Or maybe more like a deal. Hey. Hey now. If you know anything about the Grim Reaper, he likes bets and deals and games. You have my attention. Continue. So, if what you claim is true, then you should have no problem taking a soul, right? Correct. I've taken many souls. I'll allow you a free pass to my soul. Oh. Intriguing. If you can take it, I'll let you, and I'll only put up a small fight. Just a little one, I promise. And take it I shall. Why'd you have to say it like that? <laughs> I'm glad you're confident. I'll give you a week. That should be no problem for the Grim Reaper, no? A week? You shouldn't underestimate me. I need only a day. An hour. Oh? If you only need a day, why did you bother with all this? Are you perhaps... struggling? <laughs> Fine. A week it shall be. I am honor-bound by my very soul to accept the outcome of such a deal. And if you lose, you have to be my best friend, and you'll have to be my best friend forever, like Billy and Mandy. <laughs> and I am, uh, not honor-bound, but you can trust me. <laughs> that remains to be seen. But if you can't, what do you ask for? Hmm... You'll be my best friend. Your hand in marriage! Mm. Ah! I tried to hit it dramatically, but it didn't work because it's a mouse. Your hand in marriage! My... What? I didn't stutter, sir. Why in the hex would you want that? You said it yourself. Because you're gorgeous. And edgy. Do you own the house you're in? Uh... Yes. So you've got a secure job, your own place, and you're handsome. Uh, yes, I guess so. Husband material, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. How about your soul instead? What am I going to do with a soul? Then it's an even bet. That seems fair. What are you going to do with the Grim Reaper's soul? Scared? Ha. Huh. Mortal, I am scared of nothing. You have never s met a simp then. Except for typing incorrectly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I agree to your deal. If I cannot take your soul in the next week, then my soul shall belong to you. You will regret this deal, Mortal. We'll see about that. What do you plan to do with my soul? Eat it, probably, or we could mix our souls and make some kind of soul baby. <laughs> that Okay, that sounds a bit creepy. That sounds a bit ick icky. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I suppose it's of little consequence. You won't be getting it. You don't know that. Are you really that dim? Of course I do. You have no hope. How dare you. Clearly you don't know what my name is. Perhaps you should save us all some time and give up already. Huh. You wish it was that easy. 
I don't lose. Keep telling yourself that, mortal. Your soul will be my ultimate prize. It will yield itself to me, and it will be beautiful. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> you say that's kind of morbid. I say that's kind of cute. That's kind of morbid. Taking a soul is never morbid. So... Say you do win. Will we make a special date of it? What? Well, if it's going to be beautiful... We could start the night with a movie. Some wine. It's not a date. Dang, that's a shame. Anyways, as fun as this is... It's getting kind of late. We can't all waste our time messaging random people on the internet. This would have taken much less time if you had done as you were told. Done as I was told? <laughs> yes. I don't usually follow orders from strangers. Well, perhaps you should. You do seem like the type to enjoy bossing people around. Of course I would. That's what I just told you. You admit it so readily. What is there to be confused about? Oh. Oh, right. I see your mind has wandered into mortal fantasies. Oh no, not mortal fantasies! I'd argue that this is your fantasy. You're the one who brought up me following your orders. I'm simply stating it would make my job easier. Sadly, not everything is easy in life. Or death, in this case. Dealing with you certainly isn't. <laughs> you like talking to me. I disagree. I know you do. I very strongly disagree. You like it so much. I'm disagreeing so hard that I could win some kind of award for the most someone has ever disagreed with a statement. <laughs> Maybe it's like... So many negatives added together, it became a positive. <laughs> so you actually agree? <laughs> Absolutely not. You know what? Mortal, you are dismissed. Oh, Off to bed, immediately. Oh, but this is so fun. Dismissed? Do you not understand the word? You can go, please. What if I say no? Then we could sit here all night chatting. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. Unless I got work in the morning or something, I don't know. I'm sure you would enjoy that. Okay, I've changed my mind. Good. It is time for you to rest. Whoa, you're acting like you care. You'll need your rest, else our competition won't be as fun. Don't you blep at me, sir. You can just say sleep well, you know. Hmm. Good night, little reaper. Sleep well, Espoir. Hee <laughs> Aww. Hey, wait a second. How did you know my name? How indeed. I never told you. Wow, I wonder how exactly I could have known then. It's not like I have a big list sitting in front of me of your name circled at the bottom. Aw, you circled it. <laughs> Good night. Night. Sleep well, Grammy. Oh, wait, can I change my username? Why? I just want to. And this one is kind of lame. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Lame? It is not lame. It represents how many souls I've claimed before yours. It is a badge of honor. But can I change it or not? Fine. What about my picture? You're a needy little thing, aren't you? Just for you. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Fine. I have turned on the feature for you. Ooh. 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 Aw, oh, these are adorable. Oh, Egg. I like that egg. I like what that egg's showing me. But flowers? Sheep. 
pumpkin lungs. Uh, I like the flowers. Yeah, I like the flowers. I shall be known by my own name. Espoir vide. <laughs> yes, indeed. Did I do it correctly? Thanks, Grimmy. Night, night. <laughs> Grimmy. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. This game is available on Steam. This demo is available on Steam. And it is already on my wish list. Also, look at, oh, look at his little pout. Aw. Oh. oh, hello. Well, I don't think there's very much I could do differently, so I think I'm going to end it here. This was the demo of A Date With Death. You can wishlist it on Steam, you can find it on itch.io. I will be very happy to uh, bother the Grim Reaper more when the full game comes out. <laughs> there will be a link in the description to this game so you can play it and find it for yourself. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this baby girl death here, because he seems very cute to just mess with. So you could put a comment in the comment place and I will read it. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.